In this video I'm going to show you how to clean your lens after a good day shooting. Hello my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video what I want to do is I want to show you how to clean your lens after a good day shooting. If you're like me and you like macro photography and you haven't got a dedicated uh, macro lens so you're using the, uh, the macro tube extensions then um, what you'll find is because you're constantly taking them on and off to uh, adjust the magnification of your lens then you will get a lot of um, dust in your camera, you'll get a lot of um, crud on the end of your lens and all this needs to be cleaned. Now this is going to be a part one of a two part um, video. First part is going to deal with the lens, the second part will deal with the camera itself. So for this one we're going to deal with just the lens. Okay. Disclaimer time. If you don't feel confident on cleaning your equipment yourself, please take it to an authorised cleaning centre or shop. Maybe take it to Canon to get it cleaned. I am not responsible for you being an idiot and breaking your equipment by following on along with this video, okay? What, I, what I'm going to show you is a demonstration on how I clean my equipment. It might not be how you clean it, but it's just the way that I clean my equipment, okay? So I'm not responsible if you go ahead and break your equipment after watching this video. With that out of the way, let's have some fun. Now I have a few things that I use to clean my uh, equipment depending on what part of the camera I'm cleaning. Um, first thing I want to show you is some air duster. You can get these from the pound shop. Now if you've gone out and you've bought this to clean your camera, the best advice I can give you for this is to throw it away because that is going to break your camera, okay? So what you want instead is one of these. This is a Rocket Air Puffer, okay? Now you want to make sure you get a good brand where it sucks the air in from underneath and then blows it out the top. Some cheaper ones, they suck it in from the, uh, the end. So if you're blowing dust off and then sucking it in, you're just going to be blowing that dust back onto your camera, okay? Uh, you'll need a, a brush, okay? Now, 90% of the time, that's all I need to clean my uh, equipment is those. Okay, but sometimes you need to go a little bit deeper in your clean, like a um, 100 degree wash cycle. Now what I've got here is I've got my old kit lens from my original DSLR camera. First things first, you hear that? I am not banging the desk, okay? I have been commented on that I, um, I'm slamming my keyboard or smacking it when I'm doing the editing, I'm not. All it is is the tripod is on the desk and the vibration is going up through the tripod and into the microphone, okay? So I'm not, I'm not abusing my lenses, okay? Right, so first thing I wanna do is a very important step when you're cleaning your equipment. Uh, we've got the camera, okay? And we have the lens. And what I wanna do is I wanna show you this here, okay? Now this is an end cap for your lens. Now, I'm over exaggerating this just a little bit just to Get the impact home of this right so we go do you're going to clean your lens you're then going to clean your camera you're then going to put this end cap back onto your lens okay now the crud that's inside this lens this uh, lens cap is then going to migrate into there okay you're then going to put that onto your camera and that um, all the crud and dirt that's come from the cap into your lens is then going to be into your camera so the most important thing you need to do first is to clean your caps, okay? So what I've got here is I've got some uh, rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to put a little bit into my cap, put that to the side there. And all I do for this is I'll just get a little bit onto some kitchen toweling, okay? And you only want it damp, you don't want it wet. And I'm just going to clean the inside of this cap, get all that crud out. Okay. Now, on a normal day, now I would let that dry upside down, like that. Okay. Then any that's left, I puff off with my puffer. And if there's any really stubborn stuff in there, then what I can use, let me just get a couple of these out. What I can use is some cotton buds. Now you have to make sure that they are uh, pure cotton, 
and what I can do with this now is I can put some rubbing alcohol on and just do the inside of that to make sure that they are clean. So you've got the end caps for your uh, lens, you've got the end caps for the uh, the macro extension tubes, okay? And don't do that, don't blow on it, okay? <laughs> That's what this is for, okay? So very important that you clean those caps, make sure they are clean. When they are clean, if you're not using them, you can stick them together like that. Okay, now some people use this to uh, put their memory cards inside so it keeps them safe. I don't do that because most of my memory cards, they've got little pouches in my bag for it. So before we get to the lens, extension tube. Some people forget to clean the inside of their extension tubes. Okay, now because there's nothing inside it, they think, oh, it's okay, it's, it's fine. But if I show you... Uh, if I could show you, I said, so I don't think you can see, but there is dust inside there, so you have to get in there and blow it out. And I find 90% of the time, this puffer does the job, and um, I don't need to use whooping alcohol on those, okay? But again, you've got to clean the inside of your caps, okay? I've only got one set that are actually dirty, which is the, uh, the one I've been over-exaggerating just to show you the example. So let's get on to the lens. There are several things for cleaning lenses. I have a, um, a photo digital care kit. And in here I have some um, solution, lens tissue. I've got a little like puffer thing, but I prefer my uh, blower. And some cotton buds. Cotton buds, are, I find, are the best. Okay. I also have this, we have, uh, it's called a lens pen, but I find that it, it, it tends to um, introduce more, more dirt than anything else, I don't really use it. And then we have these cheap lens cleaner cloth sets from like pound shops, okay? So if you've got one of these, um, don't bother. Um, basically, they are for glasses. They're not for lenses. Okay, you're going to ruin the front of your lenses. So let's um, let's go over a typical scenario of cleaning a lens. Okay, so you've been out. You're in the um, the desert, uh, in a tropical jungle, or in my case, the kids' bedroom, and your equipment is dirty. Okay, it is dirty. I look all that crap on there. Look at that. Ooh, okay, the first thing you got to do is to brush it all off. So, first thing I do is I make sure my desk is clean. Now, I'm just going to do that because <laughs> I've got to hoover up anyway. So, we could tip off that. And you can see on there, you can see all the crud. Okay, so some people they will grab a lens tissue and they will just go over the lens. And all you're going to do there is you're going to take that crud and you're going to scratch the lens, especially if it's sand. If you've been to the beach, if you've been to the beach, that sand is going to scratch your lens, okay? So that's where the brush comes in. So we can use the brush to brush off any excess sand, or in my case, biscuit. Okay? So you can see there, look, now all of this has just come off, okay, clean that off. Next after that is you use the puffer. Now I just saw some more fly off there. And these are quite powerful. Now I'm just checking the filter thread to make sure it's clean, and it is. There we go. Okay, so we've got the loose dirt off now. All we've got to do now is deal with these smudges, which I'm just gonna over-dadulate <laughs> by doing that, okay? Sometimes I have touched the front of my lens by accident. Um, and you, you know, I've had quite a few thumb prints on my lenses. Now this is what I do for those, okay? We are finished with the rubbing alcohol for now, so I'm just gonna put that away. I don't use rubbing alcohol on the actual lens itself. What I use for that is pure water, so it's spring water. Don't use tap water because tap water has chemicals in it. And we're going to use some kitchen towel in it. 
Now I'm not going to clean the camera with the kitchen towel in, but I'll show you what this is for. Okay, I'm going to get my cotton bud and I'm just going to dip it into the water. I'm then going to put that onto the uh, paper towel because we only want it slightly damp. And then what I'm going to do is in a circular motion, I'm going to rub onto the lens. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to clean the lens in the same way that it was polished. And that is in a circular motion. Once you've gone over the lens in the same pattern of um, the lens being polished, okay, don't go left to right, okay, don't do that. Circular patterns in the same way it was polished. Once you've done it once with the damp end, turn it round and do it again with the dry end to soak up all of that, uh, that moisture and oil. And obviously there was a lot of um, fingerprints on this lens. But just with one cotton bud, look how clean that is now. Um, that is very, very clean. Okay, let me show you that again. Let's put some fingerprints on there. Try not to touch the end of the cotton bud if you can, because what will happen is you're transferring the oil from your fingers onto the cotton bud which is what is actually on the lens here at the moment. Okay. Um, try not to go all the way to the edge of the lens because you don't want to get water into your lens. Okay. So I'm just going to do that again. Okay. Put water onto the uh, cotton bud. Wipe it off onto the kitchen towel just so it's damp. And then in a circular motion, we are just going to clean the lens in the same way it was polished. And you have to be quick here, you turn it round, okay, and then you just do the same, rub it in, rubbing it off, okay. And sometimes you're going to have to do it more than once, but I'm surprised we haven't had to on this particular lens, okay. There we go. Nice and clean. Okay, now. For the back end one, we do exactly the same, but you've got to be very, very careful. Go back to my you know, statement at the beginning. If you're not confident with this, pay to have a professional to do it, okay? And what we have to do is you've got to zoom all the way, I believe it's out, no, in. You've got to zoom all the way in, okay? Now, I don't have to use the brush on this because it's had the end cap on, but I will use my blower, okay? Always holding it upside down as you blow. Cotton bud. Dip it in the water, then we wipe off the excess and we just rub. Circular motion, same as before. Nice and clean. And now we get our clean um, end caps. And we put it on there. And that is now nice and clean. Now I can't put my lens cap on there because I ain't got one. <laughs> like I said, this is just a paper right? I'm just using this as a demonstration purposes because there's no way I'm putting biscuit on my uh, Canon L series lens, okay? That was just to over exaggerate to just to show you how effective this cleaning can be. So we've done the lens caps, we've done the, uh, the macro tubes and we've done the lens. And that is basically all I do to clean my camera lenses, okay? Now again, if you're not confident with doing this yourself, then please pay to have someone do it for you. I am not responsible for you breaking your equipment from being an idiot, okay? <laughs> That's just the way it is, okay? But it is very easy. Now, I don't know how much you can get these kits. I know Canon sells some of these kits that are quite expensive. But the total cost for mine is, is a profit, a one-time cost. I can't remember the price, but I have got it linked down below, okay? Uh, a pack of cotton buds. These are, I shouldn't really say the brand. There you go. Um, <laughs> they are one pound, but make sure they are 100% cotton wool. That was a pound from the pound shop. I have bottled water, another pound. And that's it. Clean my lenses with that. Rubbing alcohol. I, this is 70% proof. I've got that link down below. If you can get a 90% proof one, it would be uh, better for cleaning. Okay. 
So that's it, that's all I do to clean my lenses. I hope you find this um, this useful. It's not exactly a tutorial, it's just a, uh, a demonstration on how I clean it. It might not be correct. Do comment below if you found it useful. Comment below if you've got a better way for cleaning your lenses that doesn't cost an absolute fortune. So in part two, on the next video coming up, we're gonna be dealing with cleaning the camera itself, okay? So I look forward for that. If you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. You'll get a notification. If you click the bell icon, you will get a notification to say that the next video has gone live, okay? My name is Stuart Wood. I wanna thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.